world. And I, I just can't believe people can't just look at things that are happening overseas. We see the drone killings, we see these unconstitutional wars, and now those things are starting to come back here. Uh, we have uh, drones flying U.S. Mexico border, U.S. Canada border. We have police departments getting uh, taser drones and other weaponized armaments, but they say that the private citizens should not be able to have these same type of armaments. And I think it's completely ridiculous, just as, just as you said there. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, is they're going to get a, a, no matter what happens, there's going to be a surprise wake-up call if anything ever does escalate to those levels. And I can tell you, this is the other entertaining thing, and I'm not normally one for the, for the tinfoil hat, but I, uh, you know, and I usually shoot down conspiracy theories around me all the time. I have had no less than four conversations with um, different gun shops mm -hmm. uh, from Alaska to Ohio to Florida. Um, and I can tell, like, it, it has become apparently clear to me that over the last couple of months, 100% they are building a list of anyone that has anything to do with firearms. And I can tell you this, they're going into gun shops right now. And they're saying, hey, we're going to do an audit of your records, which is normal. And then they're taking photo scans of the entire customer uh, records that have nothing to do with the regular things that they're doing, i.e. people wow. who are purchasing um, side products and things like that. I got off the phone with a, a person just yesterday from back east who had actually told them, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. And they said, well, we're doing a criminal investigation. And he said, yeah, well, you can come back with a subpoena or a warrant. You know, and with, with specifically who you're looking for and things of that nature. Well, they come back two weeks later with 15, 15 ATF agents and a general warrant that allows them to copy their entire customer record database, just like what happened to us, except for, you know, um, the only reason this is actually even coming to my attention right now is because of the publicity that happened on our end. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these shops are actually reaching out to us and are saying, hey, the same thing happened to me, the same thing happened to me, the same thing happened to me. And it's interesting that these stories all seem to, to have started at the turn of this year. And if you think about it, if I was them and I wanted to make a, a gigantic list of customers who are not nor or for, for people in the gun community, um, that's exactly what I would do. I would go to the, the gathering places, the places that house the most information, which is the businesses that sell these items. That's right. And why do you think and now? Do you, do you have a, any thought as to why now? I have no idea. I have not even the foggiest clue, but I, I mean, the, the, the only thing I know is that there are 100%, there is a list being built. Um, I, and, and again, I'm pretty far from the, the crowd that's normally the conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. but uh, mostly because I work for the government and my experience with the government is, well, <laughs> yeah. usually they're too, uh, they're too up to pull off any sort of anything, but I mean, this, whatever's going on here is is 100% getting directed from from a higher source. There's no way that could happen across the country like that without, you know what I mean, at the same time. That's what's weird. And who knows why they're doing it. They're just doing it, you know. Exactly, because, you know, they had been warned about for a long time, registration leads to confiscation. And that was always my question with your case. You know, why does the ATF want all of your, your customer records? Why would they need something like that? But, Dimitri, can you give us your final thoughts as we end our interview? Yeah, absolutely. This is one of those, and, and i, I got to put this out there. The biggest part to this is being able to stand up and say no. These people are not used to hearing those words. They're not used to hearing no. They're, not, they're, they're used to coming into a situation and bullying people around and having those people lay over and give them whatever they want. So if they come and they say whatever it is that they're doing, it's okay to tell them no. Make them make good on the threats. If they have to go out and get a warrant, make them go get their warrant. And when they do come back, make them look like complete idiots because that's what they are. They're an entire, their entire organization is a joke. They know their entire organization is a joke. Mm -hmm. They operate under the premise of bullying people into what they want to do. They manipulate the judicial system. Um, and, and everything they're doing is 100% wrong. And the very first step to, to correcting this issue is getting them the attention that they deserve. And the simplest, most efficient way to do that is to look them right in the face and say no. No, I'm not going to be bullied by you. You can come back with a warrant. If you want to make a threat towards me, I'm going to make you make good on that threat. Exactly. Dimitri Karras, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you so much. And that's what you have to do. You have to stand up and say, hey, I have my rights. You're not going to infringe on our rights, and that's a great way to do it. Do it peacefully as possible. But the thing that you have to do, if it all comes down to it, tell them, come and take it. That's right. You can go to the Infowars shop, get the come and take it, get the Molon Labe. 
All of it, we got the ones for the ladies as well. It's all right there at the InfoWars shop. So that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcode with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.